Hello everyone, this is uh, the series video talking about backup TwinCat 3 TwinSafe safety control system. In previous videos, we talk about how we can manually add the devices or add the modules under the devices area. Or if you have uh, actual modules, you could go online, select the controller you are going to connect, switch the controller into the configuration mode, and from the devices area, right click, click the scan, use the scan function, automatic search all the devices you can find. In this video, we will talk about the detail, the configuration of the safety input and the safety output module. We will use this cell as an example as our application background. And in this cell, we have a vertical and horizontal light curtains, install button, and uh, the door switch at the behind of this cell. The actuator in this cell, for the turntable, there is a drive system, for example, the VFD, that is a drive system. And the air will supply the valve for the A side and B side of this uh, turntable. One side is uh, outside the cell, one side is inside the cell. And if we look at this uh, robot cell, uh, actually they are the same idea. It has a light curtain, e-stop, turntable and the actuators inside the cells. So firstly, let's go to the project safety area. After we add the modules under the devices and from, and from here, add these devices, right click. So after we select all and select OK, all the safety modules under the devices here will image to this area, Alice devices. All the detailed setting about the safety input and output hardware portion, they all here rather than this area. So if we go to the input safety devices, for example, the slot two, EL1904, if we double click this area, so firstly, we need to double check the safety address so personally, I will set this address as the same as uh, it's a slot number. For example, this safety input that is on slot two, three, four, five, six. So the safety address that is uh, the same with its slot number. This safety address, the number must be the same as uh, the deep switch setting at the side of the safety card, which means once you open this uh, safety card, for example, input and output, in this picture, the left module, that is a safety input, EL1904. The right hand, this, that is a 2904 safety output. And on the side of the module, it has a deep switch here. It need to be set follow the binary way. For example, for this card, it's one, two, three is set on, which means the address of this card, that is a seven. And this group deep switch, that is a low byte. And this on the left side, that is a high byte. This is a, for the input card. And for the output card, because output card has a two slots, keep in mind here. So output card, for example, this, the number five set to on, which means that is a 16. If you want to check the detail, you can go to the safety menu. For example, for this menu, EL1904, safety input. So we can search the deep switch. So you can find this group that is a low byte, and this is a, the high byte. If you want to set the safety address to seven, so the number one, two, three need to set to on, or if you need to set a address equal to eight, the four, the number four deep switch need to set on, others need to set off. Keep in mind this, and take care, you better set this deep switch before you mount them together. And the second, page that is a connection. Basically, we won't touch this area unless you want to shrink this watchdog to make the system 
a little bit more sensitive. And the one important setting that is uh, safety parameters. So basically, according to the different application, for example, the install button, the light curtain with the uh, OSSD, or the gate switch, the OSSD devices with or without test signal. According to the different uh, application, we need to set the different settings around here. Usually the safety card, different brands has a different uh, style here. I will use this cell as an example to show how we can set this uh, parameter here. And for the fourth card here, it shows the message size. Basically, we won't set anything here. We leave the everything as a default. So, which means we basically need to take care about this area. So, let's check out a one by one. Let's firstly look at this uh, e-stop. So, this card that is a number two slot. We have a e-stop button. And this install button has a two loops. We call the loop A and the loop B. So from the device, the wiring join, the electric join shows like this. So this T signal will give a signal to the install e switch. And because that is a dry contact, so the signal will come back. And usually the e-stop that is a normal close. So which means the module give a signal and then this signal, because the e-stop that is a normal close, so it will feedback the signal. And for this e-stop button, it has a two loops here. How we can set this? Firstly, we need to identify which channel and which slot module. So that is a slot two module, and the channel that is a terminal one, two, five, and six, you may ask, what does it mean of this? So let me show a picture. That is an EL1904. On the side of the module, it shows. So if we have a two loops, the first loop takes a one and a two. This is a, we call the e-stop a, a loop. The second loop, it takes a number five and a six. Number five and a six. So we group these two loops together, served for e-stop. Shift back to the software, which means our channel one, the channel two, for the e-stop, we will set to the single logic channel one and two. And because e-stop that is a one dry contact, so we will leave this sensor test channel one and two active to true, which means we will use the module test pass signal for this e-stop. Okay, that is uh, the first two channel, channel one and channel two. This is for e-stop. The left two channel, gate switch. So the reason why the number four, number, number eight, it's marked not used, that because this gate switch used in this case that gate switch supplies the OSSD signal. And for the OSSD, uh, which means output signal switching devices. Um, so if we want to find some more detail about this uh, OSSD, what does it mean about this OSSD? So you could search OSSD safety to find out uh, more detail about this uh, explanation. If you are going to use the safety sensor, which supply the OSSD signal, which means inside of this sensor uh, it's no longer the dry contact inside it just has some circuit inside so for this case switch it has a two channel and each of channel is supplied uh, ossd from that gate switch oh this is a channel a this is a channel b um, so if we go to the setting here so for the channel three and the four uh, serve the two channels from that uh, gate switch OSSD signal. So if we double click, we will find in the job list, it shows unsynchronized analysis OSSD, sensor test deactivated, and any pass repetition OSSD, sensor test deactivate. 
What does it mean for this? Especially between these two, we need to read the detail about this uh, safety input menu. In this section, it's explained for the light berry, light gray, the light curtains, because usually for the light curtain and uh, some gate switch, they basically supply the OSSD signal. So which explained what does it mean for the OSSD, how does the safety card deal with the OSSD signal. So from here, keep in mind, if the test signal come from the OSSD from the device shorter than 350 microseconds, which means this test pass is very narrow. In this case, we can select the second and synchronize the analysis OSSD. Sensor test deactivate if if your safety switch that supplies the OSSD and the test pass shorter than the 350 milliseconds. And keep in mind, sensor test deactivate, which means this test pass come from that uh, gate switch. So we need to deactivate the test signal come from the safety module. But for some special case, if the device you are using, the test pass within this device, that test pass greater than 350, uh, you could select this, any pass repetition simultaneously test. This allows that test pass greater than 350. Sometimes you could read the description of this uh, device manual, for example, the light curtain or gate switch, but Sometimes maybe you cannot find the detailed information of this. Maybe that wonder doesn't supply the detailed information for you. So by default, you could select the second one and synchronize the analysis OSSD. If you find once you select this and your light curtain always shows a break, even light curtain is clear and the line up already, but it still shows a break, cannot be cleared so you could try the third one, any pass repetition OSSD. Because the test pass come from that OSSD device might greater than 350 microseconds. So you could select this, any pass repetition OSSD, sensor test deactivate. Same thing, because we are using the test pass from that device, so we need to turn it off the test signal from our safety module. So by default, I would like to select this and synchronize the analysis. So that is uh, the first module. Let's check out the second one. And the second safety module, that is a slot three. So on slot three, this slot module uh, read the signal from the vertical light curtain and the horizontal light curtain. Each curtain has a two channels. So we assume this light curtain cannot supply the test pass within the 350 milliseconds. So on this light curtain, we go to the slot three and the safety parameters here. So we assume it cannot supply the test pass shorter than 350 milliseconds. So we'll, we will select any pause repetition OSD. And same thing, we will turn off the test pause. Allow the light curtains supply the test part by itself. They are light curtains, vertical and horizontal. Regarding the slot four safety card, it connects the safety sensors from the turntable A side and the B side, which means, so the sensor will indicate which side the turntable it is. From this application case, this turntable position sensor that supplies OSSD signals and each sensor supplies two channels, 
and two channels connect with a safety input card. So on the slot four, we double click and go to the number four safety address. We go to the number four module setting and come here. We will use unsynchronized analysis OSSD sensor test deactivate. We assume this sensor test pause shorter than 350 milliseconds. And second one is the same. And keep in mind, we need to turn off this uh, test pause using the test pause from the sensor. Okay, so we finished the three safety cars setting according to our safety case. So we used the first card set the e-stop as well as the gate switch. So for the e-stop, that is a single channel because the e-stop that is a dry contact and gate switch that supplied OSSD. For the light curtain, we have a vertical light curtain and a horizontal light curtain. Both light curtain, they supply the OSSD signal. Regarding the safety switches on the turntable, this supplies OSSD signals to safety card. And we have a safety switch on A side and the B side. The safety signal for A side and the B side are very important for safety control. For example, the valve bank at the operator side, it must be disabled if the light curtain a break. But the valve bank inside the cell, they can be enabled. I will explain the detail of this control when we talk about the safety programming wise. To do a summary, in this video, we mainly talk about the configuration about this safety input cards. So in next video, we will introduce the detail about the safety output setting. See you in next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.